Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am It's Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing season 2, episode 7 of Avatar The Last Airbender called Zuko Alone. This was a crazy bananas episode. Uh, so we start off with Zuko and the bird almost pass out, um, but he sees this couple fixing um, dinner or lunch or whatever, fixing a meal. And he decided to attack them because the woman was pregnant and so they just keep on going. And then they then he arrives in the village and this kid throws an egg at these people playing dice. And so Zuko uh, got blamed for it and literally he didn't he took the blame for it and just let the kid pass on well, get a pass. Then he takes the bird feed and then the soldiers. <laughs> and so uh, but Zuko handled them. And then the kid offers to take him to his house to get some, uh, like, a proper meal and to feed the bird. And so the pants offer food, and Zuko is, um, really bad at manual labor. <laughs> like, really bad. And plus, the kid kept asking, like, a bunch of questions. I think the kid's name was Lee. He kept asking, like, so, where are you from? And, you know, what happened to your scar? And that's when he, like, hurt his thumb. <laughs> what hammering on the roof um but Zuko is being very private doesn't want to say like who his, what his name is or anything he's just just like mm, no and like the parents are fine with that they just want some help around the house and they offer to pay, give him food and like a place to sleep then we go to a flashback where the mom was super pleasant Ursa she was super nice like she was feeding like the uh turtle ducks and everything and Zuko it's so like, this is how Zilla does it and throws like a big loaf at one of the troll ducks so the mom bit him on the ankle. And so, um, we also see that Zilla was always rude and manipulative. And, um, so Ursa explained to Zuko, like, that's not how you do that. You gotta treat them kindly and they'll be kindly back for the most part. And then you have, um, with Zilla, I was really being rude and manipulative. She was very, it's like... Mom, made Zuko play with us, please. We're brother and sister. We should be hanging out more. And so, you know, she tells him to play with, like, her sister and her friends. And so they put um, an apple on top of May, and she's shot fire at it and called the apple on fire. And Zuko's trying to be nice and kind of, uh, she had, he accidentally decks May into the pond and everything. So, and got made fun of. So that was not cute. Then I was sent a letter saying that, you know, he brought down the wall and gave Azula a, a doll and Zuko a knife that says never keep fighting. I never stop fighting. <laughs> or never give up. It's one of those. Always keep fighting and never give up. I think that's what it was. Anyway, and Zula hit her gift and literally set on fire. Then the present day, the kid takes Zuko's swords and is practicing in the field of sunflowers. The Zuko busted him and trains him and then the next morning the soldiers tell that uh, tells the family that um, their son's battalion got captured and literally were being rude and wanted to take more stuff so Zuko threatens them and gets rid of them well he didn't really threaten them he just told them to leave and they did so anyway uh, so the dad's actually going to go to the front line trying to find his son then we have a flashback where Ira's son died, and then in the present day, um, I already said that. And so, um, he, so Zuko gives his kid his, um, knife, and, from the Earth Kingdom, and he's about to leave. And he does. Because the kid, at, Lee actually asks, like, if my dad goes, will you stay? He's like, no, I gotta go. Then we have a flashback where Zula is being rude about Iroh and the Zulon and saying that, you know, Dad should, re should replace Iroh and that, you know, a Zulon is not the man he used to be and Ursa was trying to, like, like, shut up. <laughs> like, don't say that. Like, I, we need to have a serious talk. And, um, then they have, um, so then they literally go talk to, I guess, Granddad, a Zulon. And, um, he quizzes them, um, he quizzes Zuko, he didn't, couldn't really name the answer, so we had, um, 
Who in the world is that? So anyway, sorry, someone's walking. So literally someone, I'm, damn, literally Azula literally covered the answer and showed a demonstration of her fire bending and she is a natural, like a prodigy. And the dad is very happy about it. And so Zuko's up because he wanted to impress granddad and that didn't happen. He failed. And it was like, was not happy with that either because he smiled when the Zulon was up as soon as Zuka said he was up he went mm. anyway then Ozai um, talks to Azulon and Izuko and Azula over here and he wants to betray Iroh and be the next in line and Az Azulon is very pissed off about that he's very very upset by that and then Zuko runs off and and then, uh, then later on, Azula said that Dad's going to off Zuko. <laughs> and so the mom grabs Azula, has a strong talk with her, but we don't see what she actually said. Then we have the present day where the mom shows up, and um, uh, Lee's mom shows up and tells him that the soldiers took uh, Lee, and because he pulled out a knife and said, "Wait, well, if he can fight, he can be in the army." Then we cut to where Zuko fights them and Zuko's losing. Then we have the flashback where the mom is leaving him and hugs Zuko goodbye and says, don't ever forget who you are. Then the present day, Zuko wakes up because he got knocked out from the earthbending, earthbender dude, and starts firebending and then people run him basically out of town, pretty much. And then we have a flashback where Zulon passed away and Ozai has the throne and the present day Zuko is leaving town and Lee saying, I hate you because he tried to give the knife back and he was like, no, I hate you. I was like, okay, kid. Uh, like, you, he just saved your town. Like, I don't understand what your issue. Like, I get it, but at the same time, like, like the whole village was like behind him. Oops, sorry about that. But like the whole village was behind him and um, when they thought he was just, you know, a worried traveler. But since he says, like, oh, I'm Prince Zuko, son of Ozai and Ursa and the you know, prince of the Fire Nation. And the, the old man who was like, give him a left, give him a left, was like, I know you, you've been disowned and your dad branded you for life or scarred you for life. So that was like really shady, but overall it was a plus episode. I really enjoyed it. Um, technically it's filler, but we get to see more of Zuko's backstory and why he acts kind of like the way he acts a little bit. And, you know, I think it's interesting because like obviously looking at it, oh my phone's, my, my battery's about to die. So obviously it was like, uh, Azula was Ozai's favorite, and Ursa was Zuko's favorite, or reverse. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.